Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to go through a lesson on graphing linear equations in two variables. All right, let's go through some terms and definitions and let's talk about linear inequalities in two variables. So a linear inequality in two variables can be written in four forms. I've got A and let's not be intimidated by the A's and the B's and the Y's and the X's and the C's. They're all just placeholders for different values. So I can have it in the form AX plus BY is less than C, AX plus BY is less than or equal to C, AX plus BY is greater than C, and then AX plus BY is greater than or equal to C. A solution of a linear inequality is one in which the ordered pair or an ordered pair makes the inequality true. So before when we were dealing with number lines, we were dealing with just really one dimension. Now we're dealing with two dimensions and a whole set of ordered pairs that make the inequality generally true. So let's take a look at a linear inequality in two variables. So I have 2x plus 3y here are my two variables is greater than 5. Now I want to see if 5, 3 is a solution of the inequality. So I plug in 5 for x and I get 2 times 5 plus 3 times y which is 3 times 3. So I have 10 plus 9 is 19 that is greater than 5. So that makes, that's the solution of the linear inequality. Okay, the next problem, or the next question asks if negative 1, 2 is a solution. So I plug in negative 1 for x plus 3 times 2 for y. I get negative 2 plus 6 is negative 4. That is not greater than 5, so that is not a solution. So this is negative 1, 2 is not a solution, but 5, 3 is. Okay, so the graph of a linear inequality is the set of all points that represent the solution. So as I mentioned before, we've got not just one point typically, but lots and lots of points. We call those the set of points, and they represent a solution. And then we graph them. In this case, I graphed it in green to show you that everything on this side of the line is going to be a solution to the inequality. All right, so let's talk about how we're going to go about graphing inequalities. The first step is to graph the boundary line by changing the inequality to an equal sign. And we're going to rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, so let's take an example. The one that we had before, 2x plus 3y is greater than 5. Well, I'm going to change that inequality to an equality. So I have 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. And then I'm going to rewrite it in slope-intercept form so I can graph the equation. So I have negative two-thirds x is my slope, negative five-thirds is my y-intercept, and I've just graphed that inequality. Now we also have to take into consideration whether or not the inequality is greater than, greater than equal, greater than, or less than, less than and equal. And in this case we have an inequality that's just greater than. So if we have a line we need to change that to a dotted or dashed line because the line now is not part of the solution. So we're going to take this line and we're going to cut it out and then we're going to make our dashed line because this line is not part of the solution. Now it would be part of the solution if this were equal to but it's not so we have a dashed line. Okay. So first step change it to equal, rewrite it in uh, slope intercept form and then we are going to draw, uh, draw or graph the equation. Step number two, test a point not on the boundary line to determine if that point represents a solution. If it is a solution, then shade the area on the side of the line in which the point is located. If it's not, then shade the other side. Okay, so in this case, we're going to test the point 0, 0 to see if that works. If we plug in 0 for x, I have 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0. And we can choose any point we want. 0, 0 is typically a good point. And we end up with 0 is greater than 5. Is that true? Nope, that's not true. So we know that this side of the graph does not represent the solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw in the other side of the graph. All right, so since this point 0, 0 is not part of the graph, this area is not part of the solution, now we graph or shade in the other part and this represents our solution. So again, step one, we rewrite the equation. 
Step two. So step number one again, we graph the boundary line. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's a solid line. If it's just greater than or less than, it's a dotted line. Again, we rewrite as an equal sign in uh, point slope form. And then we test a point not on the line. In this case, we tested 0, 0. That's typically the easiest one to test. If it's not part of the solution, in this case it wasn't, then we know that that side of the line is not part of the solution. And we graph in the other side. 